Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And what are you doing in his body? Stand now. I said, stand on your feet. Don't let me add this one. If I add this one, then you are finished. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand. I said, stand. Stand. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. I said, stand. Bring your power. Bring it. Bring it out. Bring all your powers out. Bring it out. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet right now. Who are you to him? Who are you to him? What are you doing in this body? What is the plan? Are you ready to talk? Fire your mouth. You are keeping him long. Why can't you give me a chance to finish my work? What is your work? This boy. Huh? This boy's heart is so. His, his heart is what? His heart is open. Uh huh. Why must you keep him? I'm keeping him. Why are you keeping him long? What do you want to do with him? Why are you keeping him? What do you want to do with him? Do you know what I do to him? What did Last two him? weeks. What did you do to him? Jesus Christ, he's what still, do you know? He's still calling your number. He's praying for him. Why can't you leave him? Let you him finish? go with me. Who are you? Why can't you leave me? Who are you? Jesus Christ wants to know. Who are you? I'm asking you, why can't you leave you? to go with me? Who are you? You are who? Who are you? I am in his father. You are his father. The father of this boy. I am his father. You are his father. Where are you? Where are you? I see everything in him. You see everything? He belongs to him. You, you seize everything. Be, he belongs. Everything belongs to him. I seize it. How do you seize it? Where do you keep them? I don't know who is this boy. Who is he? Jesus Christ wants to know. Who is he? You seize everything that belongs to everything. him. Everything. Where do you keep them? I keep it them in my palace. Where is your palace? The great palace. Huh? Eh? Your hair. Your hair. That's where you keep them. That is where I keep it. Okay, where are you? Now, physically, where are you? I'm Spiritually, sitting where are on you? him. Oh, you are, you are sitting on him. He start want to blow. Okay. 20, 23. Okay. That's why I hit him what I hit him last two weeks. Oh, that's why you hit him two weeks ago. That's why I hit him that I brought pressure. Stroke. Okay. He's not talking well again. He's losing his senses. Why do you do that? How can you do that? He's mad, but he broke. He backed me. Eh? He refused to come and give me what belongs to me. Okay, what is that that belongs to you? What do he you want? knows what I eat. What do you eat? And he knows what he's supposed to come and give me. Okay, what do you eat? What do you eat? He know what he's supposed to give. What do you eat? Because I see that he's what? the one who is the star there. Wait, what are the things you eat? I eat fresh blood. You eat fresh blood. What kind of I blood do you eat? eat? Flesh blood. So, what kind of blood? He's supposed to know, and he know. I show oh. him when he's young. You did what? I show him when he's young. Oh, when this boy was young. That's why when they come and stole my shrine in his father's house. I opened his eyes to see that I am not no more there. Why do you allow them to stole me? Okay, where did, you steal, where did they steal you to? They steal you to where? I don't know. So he where knows. Are you now? I mean, his body. Oh, you are in this body? He doesn't sleep for two days. This boy never sleeps. Okay, why, what are you doing in his body? Let me complete okay, go my ahead. work. Go ahead. I want to finish him. Then are you going with me? Okay, you want to finish him. Then he's going with you. Oh, his properties is just dumb. Okay, just. okay, okay, okay. So that is your plan? That is my plan. This is what my master sent me to come and Who do. Who is your master? 
My master is the great master. Who is the great master? Master of the master. Who is your master? I want to know. I told you. Who is your master? Your hair is my master. They were a great oracle from their family. Okay. The river in the bush. Okay. So that is the, that's your master. That is Why did master. you follow this boy to this place? Look at the boy you are seeing. Look at the forehead. What is are you forehead? seeing that forehead? What is in that forehead? Are you seeing that star? What is I that closed thing? it. Immediately oh, he burned. Eh? He come out with a gray star. Yeah. I become first of all to go and visit them and close that star. Oh, you went and closed We the star. cannot penetrate if we leave that star to grow a little bit. Okay. We need to close it when it's young. Oh, you closed you it know? when he was young? Yes. It's mine. Okay, but now that this boy is here, what, is, what, are, what do you think you're going to do? Why always when he praying, he calling your name? Calling Isaka. Calling Jeremiah or what of Fefe. You don't want him to call Calling Isaka. Senior Private TB Joshua. You don't want him to call those people. Do you know what that name means? What, what's the name? What does he, doesn't, he don't need to call that name anyhow, but he's using it to torment me. Oh, he used those names to torment you. To torment me. I see. To torment me. Okay, okay. So you are in this body. There's a big business coming to him. Mm hmm. What, what have you done? He's on the business? way going to that business to come back to go and finish with people he's supposed to meet. Oh, you went and finished. I pull him down by stroke. Oh, you pull him down by stroke. Yes. Hi, wow. Which means you I big. try to finish him with his children. Uh, All of them in the same car. I make him blind oh, on yeah. the highway. Okay. He's only screaming my head. That girl over there uh -huh. shouting. Which girl? Daddy. That girl over there standing there by the corner there. Which girl? Say, Daddy, please use look your look at, anointing can you look at or you. Can you look at I don't, I'm not looking at her. She do not need to look at me. It doesn't belong to the same place. Okay. Okay, listen. She tell, this girl tell, her, tell this man to use that what? He, there is oil on his car. He's always using on his car. Uh. Then he used that oil. The hand started begin moving again. Oh, when he used the oil, moving the hand began again. to move. Moving again. So you seize the hand. I seize the hand because one side is dead. One side is dead. Even okay. the head. Say, now as I'm talking to you, because of that oil, the hand is restoring. The hand he is went to and tell him to use salt and bat. And he used the salt and bat also. For what? Who is she? What is in that oil and in that salt? You don't like them. What is that? I don't use it. That's why I told them. In the hospital, they told him to stop eating salt and oil. Okay. They told this boy to stop eating salt and oil. Who is him to carry the 241 high blood pressure to still be alive? Where we are not giving even the one who is holding 200 P high blood pressure to be alive. Who is him to be alive? Okay, I have. I, I want to ask you something. When Who you kill, is him? When you kill, you kill this boy, what do you benefit? Yeah, I finish what I came to do in their family. Oh, when you kill this boy, you finish what you come to do in their family. Yes. Okay, so you are still. His sisters still... they love him too much, and his sister is prayer warrior. Okay. Yesterday. This foolish boy went to go and pick up his phone and calling his sister. Where he when she's with this one, this one busy reading Why the don't Bible. Why don't want to see this one? Why don't want to see this girl? He reading Bible for save who? The sister in the midnight from seven o'clock. This boy went to sleep. We couldn't give him the sleep. We make him to be talking where he's sleeping, talking. Okay. When he busy talking, mm -hmm. this one wake him. What are you saying? We asked him to sneer down less prayer. The next thing, they gave him a god to pick up his phone to call his elder sister. His sister is busy crying and praying in midnight till five o'clock this morning. And I knew the five o'clock is time to him to go here. Coming here five o'clock, preparing to be coming here. I gave him that sleep. 
you, you make him to sleep. Yes, to be late. To be late. I did that. Okay. I did that. What do and you I don't like the way you're using this boy. I want to ask you something. Can you please what? leave this boy for me? Then we can go. Okay, you want me to leave this boy for leave you? Leave him for me. I have leave good him news for, for you. I have good news for you. On Tuesday, that day I hit him. This boy is gone. Is he a prayer? Make them revive him back five o'clock on Tuesday, on Friday, yes. Oh, he was gone. He's already gone. Two o'clock on, fr on Friday. Him, he come back. When he's busy calling the wife, send the picture of her. Who is, the, who is that name? Who gave him that name? Okay, listen. I have good news. Who refused? This boy refused. Right from home. He packed me. When they are talking about your hair, he's telling me that I don't know who is your hair, that you know this man. You know who? That man. What is, it? What is that man? Your yeah, man. Which who? The what great on your back. Uh, the one on my back? Yes. Okay. You don't mention his name. Call his name. Call who name? Do you ever ever see a, a king call a name of a king? Oh, you're a king. Okay, walk I'm, like a king. I'm a king inside okay, walk, walk, a, walk like I'm a king. I'm a king. We control king. Oh, you the control junior king. ones. Yes. Oh. We are the senior. Okay, you are the senior. We are the senior. Okay. Okay, listen. Why did we are you follow the senior this boy king. to this place today? Why did you follow him to this place today? Listen. Listen. I want you to take everything you put in this body and yourself. That is why he sees this body now, for us. Listen. Listen. You have... Your time is over. Your time is over. I have a lot to do. You know what is the time? It's over. Out! Thank you, Lord. Go. Go! Never come back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take! Out! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Take all your things. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Take everything that belongs to you. Take it out. You high blood pressure. You wicked idol. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Thank you, Lord. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Your time is over. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Out. Out. And never come back here. You uh. spirit of Out. <coughs> Vomit it out. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the matter of Jesus Christ. Out in the matter of Jesus Christ. Out. You flesh it up. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Out in the matter of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now go. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. And never you return to this body. Now and forevermore. Amen. Hello. Eh? You need water. What's wrong with you? I'm dry. Eh? Daddy, I'm dry. What is he saying? Dry. He, he's dried. He dried. He need water. Get me one drink and leave. Take him up. Get me one drink and leave quickly. Come here. Say you're dry. Okay, open your mouth. 
Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Do you people see something? This is the one that is at work. This is the, this is the one that is at work. You see that? <laughs> you see? Stand it! Stand up! Because your power over this boy is over. Stand up. You want to fight? Okay, stand up. Stand up. You have power. Stand up. Don't let me count three. Don't let me count three. One! Two! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You have no choice. The whole floor. Fire! The whole floor. Stand up right now! Stand up. Stand up. Stand right. Stand right. The remaining in you should come out now. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> now vomit it. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! You know where you are? You know where you are? Finish. Where's the power? Look for it. Look for it. You know where you are? You know where you are? You make the greatest mistake by touching this boy. Now move. Move! Leave this boy, please. I say move. Move out. Move out. Now. Give me the water. Give me the water. This is soul for the father. Huh? This is soul for his father. His soul... For his father. His soul for the father. We seize his documents. Now, finish. Now, check your power. Everything you seize from this boy is restored. We seize, we seize it all. All his papers. All his papers. To his father to not see him. Huh? To okay. his father to not see him. For the father not to see him. All every year, the father is crying. Listen. My son, come back Listen. home. Listen. Listen. Only once he travel. He Listen. travel big. We see what that boy will do be. Listen. We told you. Listen. Listen. We told you. We know this Listen. boy. Listen. We know this boy. Listen. Listen. I have good boy. news. Now go. I have too many work to do. Go. Fire! Out! 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 Thank you, Lord. Take. <laughs> In Jesus Christ's mighty name. I'm not fighting. Keep your sword. I'm not fighting. Now go. Now go. Go. Keep your sword. Go. Let me take my thing. Oh yeah, remove all your things. Let me take my All your things. things. Go. You idol from the village. But why I don't want to leave this boy you, you, from you, me? What is your name again? Is so? Your here. Your name is your here. Okay, go. Go. Out. Thank you, Lord. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. And never you come back. Go! And never you come back. Come here. Come here. Give me your hand. Touch his stomach. Touch his stomach. Finish. Leave him. It's okay. It's okay. You have done your job. Finish. Finish. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, never you return, you idol. Go! One, two! In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Can I hear everyone say amen? Amen.
Hello. How are you? Eh? I'm blessed, Daddy. You're blessed? Okay. What happened? Eh? No, I don't know, Daddy. Eh? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay. She boy. <laughs> if he... Mama, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. What happened? Huh? Sorry. Huh? What happened? Can you check your body? Huh? My body is light. Your body is light. Yes, daddy. For two days, three days. Yes, they make it three days. Eh? No, there is no sleep on my eyes, daddy. You never sleep. If I go to bed at seven o'clock, say, let me go and sleep. Eh? I'm hearing too much voices. He's aware. I'm fighting with people I don't see. Him. Eh? I'm fighting with people I am not seeing. Oh, you are fighting with people and you don't see them. Yes, daddy. Okay. Get me a drink and leave. Yeah. The busy asking me, you are watching your properties, you are watching your money, yeah. your finances. I am busy saying yes, I'm watching it. They say, yeah, you're a great boy, but we can't give it to you. Okay. Open it for me. Come. Open your mouth. Drink it. Check yourself. Eh? I was having serious pain here. There's no pain here. My wife, she's okay. away. She's away. And on 27, they asked me to... Eh? On 27, they asked me to go to Joburg to go and scan from my brain to my feet to make sure that what happened to me on highway didn't damage any of my body. Eh? And even tomorrow, I'm going to another test again. Tomorrow? Yes, daddy. 27. No, I'm going tomorrow and I'm going to 27 again. Okay. Eh? He's going on the 2nd of May for a CT scan. For a CT scan. Then tomorrow, it's, it's going to fetch his results. Eh? Uh. 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 Since last three weeks, when I'm talking, I'm not talking with my sense. Eh? Uh. My sense is out. Okay, check your head. My head is light, daddy. I'm not, I'm not, that is, before I'm not feeling here. You don't this, feel it? I don't feel this side before. Uh. But now even my hand, everything, I can feel it. <laughs> my leg. I can't walk before from here to here, daddy. I used to be very agile. Sometimes I leave my car, go where I want to go. But since this thing, they come and visit me, daddy. I can't walk, reach even a pole. I'll be breathing. Okay. Tired. He said you are... You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. Eh? Uh -uh. My name is Ekeno Okafo. I'm not your here. What is your here? There is Oracle in our family, sir. Called your here. Called your here. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. And where is that oracle? Daddy, we come back home one Christmas because we are not staying in home. Yeah. I and my family, we are staying in Enugu State mm -hmm. where we are going to school. My dad is working. Yeah. So it happens that one day as we come back. When? One, when we come back from Christmas time. Yeah. You know, in Nigeria, they normally store those oracle and sell to the white people. Uh. So, and that day, I like to eat fruit. And there is a big mango next to that uh, shrine. That to shrine, yeah. Uh, so that morning, that afternoon, not morning, afternoon, mm. I say, no, I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat food. Let me go and eat a mango. Do I uh, want to eat a mango? The mango, uh, the mango is very sweet and big. Uh, so when I get there, 
where my eyes go straight in that shrine where that oracle no matter be mm. and is not there i have to let the people in the village in my family to know that your hair is not there anymore okay and that thing is disturbing me that they too much what is disturbing you that oracle is disturbing me or they'll be to have a big business coming into Sometimes it's close to me. The oracle will be close to you. The money, the big money will be like close to me. Uh. So the person will not even pick up a call again. They can't even call me again. The money I know that is already close to me. Uh. My project for how many years? More than 15 years. Uh. I never finish it. It's on LinkedIn. I never finish it. I never finish it. Yes. Okay. The Congrats. land that I Listen. bought in Tanshil. Listen. Congratulations. Amen. You are restored. Amen. Jump up. What do you feel? I feel like I'm okay, Daddy. You are free. Thank God. You are free. That idol have nothing to do with you. Amen. They have gone back to where they belong Amen. from this day. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Emmanuel. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Yeah. God bless everyone here. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Brother Ekene Okafo. I'm in Nigeria, but I reside here in South Africa. It's all happened like this on, on 8th of February. I went to meeting on, in four ways. It happens that I went with my family because it was time to go and pick my children in school. I said, okay, let me pick them to rush to the meeting and then I will take excuse then everybody will be going home. Then we went to the meeting. We didn't even spend time. I just take excuse that I can't be able to spend much time. That is something I'm rushing to. They said, okay. On my way coming back, in the same four ways road, my body started changed. I called my wife that I'm not getting myself. I don't know what is happening to me. It's like, what happened? I said, I don't know. Then I'm having one chronic severe headache. Since like somebody is using big hammer hitting on my head to my head to break into two. Then I, I told my wife, seriously, listen, in case if any of my brother called you, just tell them what I said. I'm not getting myself. Reaching close to Morty Casino on that road, is too much for me. I don't want to tell him like I am not even seeing clearly as I'm driving because that headache make me like I'm not seeing even car in my front or somebody next to me. In my heart, I'm said, okay, God, please do not allow me to die here on the road with my family. Please, God, guide me. Let me reach home and go to hospital. Then with managing driving the car, controlling the car, going home, knowing that it's only God, he's the one with his angel driving me, not me driving, because I don't know what I'm doing. Then we reaching a certain area in, in when we're passing a, a four ways, getting inside the inside uh, some area, I told my wife, please, you know what? I don't think that I can be able to make it again. I don't know the road I will use to get close to my place to get to hospital. Then my wife said, why? Can you please try? Please. I said, okay, I will try. Let me look for the road 
shorter place, I will drive so therefore we can get close. We, and we are in Rosebank. I said, okay, let me use the road of Rosebank, driving, going home. When we get into Hebrew, through Rosebank, getting to the Rosebank to the Hebrew, one of my side become numbed. I told my wife, please, as I'm parking by the corner, he asked me, what, why are you parking? I said, I'm not feeling my hand and I'm not feeling my leg. None of them is working. He said, but there is anointing, you carry oil, rafa oil every day and the salt on your car. I said, yes, it's here next to me. He said, okay, use it and rub your body, anoint your body. I said, okay, I used my left hand, I took it. He opened the anointing oil. I poured it on myself, all on my head. Started rubbing it on my body, all my body, saying, God, please help me. God, please help me, help me, help me. I'm here with my family. I don't want to die with my children here. God answered my prayer. After some minutes, my hand started shaking. I called my wife and said, listen, see what is happening. My hand is shaking. My finger can move again. I can hold the steering. I said, can you hold? I said, yes. As I'm talking to him, my leg started shaking again. I said, thank God. Now I'm feeling my leg and I'm feeling my hand. Can you clap for Master Jesus? So, my brother, you say that after using the Rafa anointing oil, that part of your body, the, your right hand and your leg that was numb, and you started feeling sensation, you were restored and you were able to drive home. Is that correct? Yes. And That's... when you reached home, what happened? When I reached home, all my body, is, I was sweating like somebody, they pour a water on the body. I was sweating, and that head is too much, coming like the head will just want to burst immediately. I told my wife, no, I can't bear this again. And you decided to go to hospital? I decided to go to hospital. What did the doctor say when you went to hospital? When really we arrived in hospital, doctor take me, they asked me to go and open a file. My wife busy opening a file. Where I'm busy, where I'm lying, I'm shouting inside the hospital. I need the help. Doctor take me immediately. and said, please, take him to attendant care. They check me. When they put machines on my, on my body, they find out that my BP is 204 to 1. Doctor asks me, Mr. Kaffer, do you want to kill yourself? I'm like, Doctor, please, if you know anything I want to do to save me, I can't bear this again. Just help me. I don't know what I'm doing. They said they inject me, giving me a pace to BP to go down. The BP doesn't want to go down. It becomes worse. He said, my brother, listen, tell your wife to go home. I'm going to admit you now in Ward 13. Then I called one of my brothers to come and pick up my wife to go home. They took me to Ward 13, tried to give me a pill, giving me injection. They are giving me, even to the head, to come down. The headache doesn't want to come down. The BP doesn't want to come down. Instead of the BP to come down, it's going more up. Doctor said that they never see this kind of a thing in this hospital. I, stood, I called the doctor saying, you know what? Ne? Only what I know is only God will save me. And I believe in my God that I will not die. Amen but and amen. <laughs> my brother, when you were going through all these challenges, did you have the time or did you remember to contact the church? Yes, when I'm going all, 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 this, all these things, I'm like, okay. I call my wife and say, please. You know, I can't see anything even on phone. Even a letter on phone, I can't see. Take my phone. Please, can you call the church and tell them what I'm passing through here in the hospital? He said, okay. He pick up a phone. He called the church. The church, the church immediately answered. And answer, and then he, told, he explained to the church that this is what is happening to Brother Kenne. And the Brother Kenne, they admit him here in, in hospital. Then he explained everything. When he explained everything, when he called the church, in the church, they said, okay, can you send the picture immediately? And which is on, on Thursday. We are getting into the Friday. Then he sent the picture. 
When he sent the picture, Daddy see the picture, said, okay. He started praying for me. When he prayed for me, he asked my wife that everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Things Brother, is fine. Um, what was the condition you are going through when they sent the picture? How are you feeling? Is your BP down as at that time? Or is it still high? And the leg and your hand that was numb, what are the conditions you found yourself? As at that time, your picture was sent to the prophet. Yeah, the condition is the, the, the leg and the hand is, is, is like, okay, I'm feeling it. I can be able to you know, move my leg and move my hand. After I'm using Rafa anointing oil, pouring on myself inside the car. But the PP doesn't want to go down because the doctors, even the nurses, they are complaining. Why your BP is going high, high, it go down a little bit, then it started going high again. I'm like, I don't know what to do again. It's only God. What happened after the prayer from the servant of God? Then after the prayer of the servant of God, the BP started come down that day. He come down that day. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> you can continue. Okay. When the BP come down, the first time, I say, thank God. God is answering my prayer. Amen. And I'm having, I'm having anointing oil, which was on Friday. Then I pray that on Thursday, entering Friday, around 2 o'clock. I don't know what happened. I don't know where I am on Friday, 2 o'clock. I don't know what happened. Only that I opened my eyes around 5 o'clock. I see doctors and nurses around me. When I see doctors and nurses around me, I'm asking them, what happened? What, what is going on? Doctor just answered me and said, my brother, just come down. Just thank you, God. God love you, but come down. I will talk to you. I will be back. Then he didn't tell me anything. He leave. Brother, did the doctor tell you that somebody that has 241 and above on the, on the BP, do he tell you that the person is not supposed to be alive? No, what the doctor told me that he never see anyone have even 150 to 160 being alive. Why am I still alive? Why am I having 241 BP? I say that it's only God is keeping me. This is how I answer the doctor. He said, um, okay. What are the other things you did as a matter of follow-up from the church to when you were in the hospital, what are the other things you did, materials you used as a, uh, to, to in, in encourage yourself and your faith that God is the only healer? The material things I use, when I call my wife, I say, please get me all the material from church. I'm using Rafa anointing oil. This is the Rafa anointing oil I'm using every day. Even when my wife called me that, so I said, no, I don't need to go and bath in the hospital. I don't want my water to be here in the hospital. What I need to use and buy is Rafa anointing oil. I'm using it, rubbing all my body, pouring the salt also. I'm using salt. This Rafa anointing salt, I'm using it, pouring on myself. When I'm, if, I, if I put my head on the bed, I will take it, put on the pillows where I'm sleeping. Then with anointing water from synagogue, I have it because I get it in when, we, when they come visit here in South Africa. So I have opportunity to get it. So I'm using this third media and it helps me a lot. This third media helps me. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> Was there any other follow up prayer from the church? When you were in the hospital, did yes. the church visit you or prayed for you? Yes, church visit me. But before church visit me, that on Friday, they revived me back. Is a patient next to me was telling me what happened to me. I didn't know what happened to me. Then that's the same Friday in the afternoon. They come and give me injection again and some pain. The doctor called me, my brother. I'm giving you all the BP tablets we have. 
All the BP tablet, the BP have is what we are giving you, and even the injection. But we are praying, pray hard, let this thing to go down very well, so therefore we can discharge you. I said, okay. Then I fell asleep on that on Friday in the afternoon. Then two o'clock is time of visiting. I didn't know when my wife even come to come and visit me. She's the one who wake me. When he wakes me, he asks me that what is happening. I say, what happened? He say, why your mouth is not the same? Your mouth is going one side. I'm like, my mouth. The nurses come say, yes, your mouth is going one side of your right side. I use my picture, my phone. I snap myself. I see her through through. My mouth is going one side of the of my right side. I said, okay, I don't know what to do. But what I want you to do, please, can you call church? And that time it was 40 days and 40 night fasting, dry fasting where we're doing in the church. So I said, please, mama, can you call the church for me? Then he called the church. Then when he called the church, the man of God answered her and told her, can you send me the picture? Then he sent the picture to the man of God. Then when he sent the picture to the man of God, the man of God asked her that when the time for closing prayer, come to church and come and do prayer. He gave my wife three fruits to give me. And it happens that the time my wife will come and give me the three fruits, there is no visitor. It was going to be at night. But he managed to bring the three fruit to me. When he called me, I said, yes. What the man of God gave you is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bring it that out. Then he managed to bring the fruit to me with the anointing oil and anointing water. Brother, after eating the fruit, the prophet sent to you, what happened? Okay, what happened that when, I'm, when I started eating the fruit, I'm applying the anointing oil and the anointing water with the fruit. Then in the afternoon, the normal come and give us injection and give us pill in the afternoon around 12 o'clock. When nurse come, the nurse say, my brother, even the mouth, your mouth it was one side, but now he's going back. I say, can you clap for Master Jesus? I told the nurse that I am serving the living God. Amen. That Amen. I don't have any power of my own and I don't, have, I don't have anything to use maybe to push the mouth to go where it normally be before. They, then he asked me, so you're not eating even the chewing gum? I said, no, what I'm not doing before, I don't ever eat chewing gum before, I don't like to eat it. Amen and, and amen. My brother, you said that the church visited you. What happened when the church or when prophets sent people to visit you? What happened? Yes, when the prophet sent the pastors to come and visit me, the pastors came and prayed for me. Immediately pastors finished praying for me, that's the same day. The BP doesn't want to go down no more. Started going down from that 241, it goes down to 100 and. 69. And from 169 to? Then, in the, they, they check me again. He's still going more down from 169. He goes down to 156. Then the doctor called me that, yes, now you are doing well. If it goes down more, we're going to discharge you to go home. I say, thank God. Glory be to God. That is God's work. So, the last day, I'm sleeping around 5 o'clock. They have to come and check us again. The doctor called me and said, Mr. Carfer, listen, you're going to go home today. I said, amen. This is how I answer him. I said, amen. I will go home. That year is not for me. Then they will go and bring the machine and put on my body again. When they plug the machine and check me, from 156, it goes down to 133. Can you clap for Master Jesus? You can do better than that, children of God. Amen and amen. We serve a living God. We serve the God the healer. 
we serve the God the restorer. My brother, when you were discharged, what other things did you do to make sure that your healing and your restoration is permanent? When I discharge from hospital, the first thing I do, I told my wife I'm not going home because the doctor asked me to, for now, just wait, do not drive, for now. Then give yourself like a week or two weeks before you started driving. Then I said, okay. I call my brother wife who's driving my car to come and pick me. Then they pick me from hospital. I say, they ask me where I'm going. I say, no, please, I'm going straight to the altar of God. I'm going to the church. Take me straight to the church. Let me go and thank God. Let me go and bow in his name before I go home. They said, okay. When they brought me, I was lying in front of Mercy Land, thanking God the way he gave me a life. Can we clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> My brother, we thank God for saving your life and for restoring you in totality. And we are a way that you are on prayer line. So what happened when you were on prayer line? Because we know that servant of God put you on prayer line. So tell us your experiences while you're on the prayer line. Yes, the first day I went to prayer line two times. Okay, so the first time I went to prayer line, daddy prayed for me. My, my body was coming back that day, which is on Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, the attack of the head come again. I'm like, ah, mom, this thing have already started again. What am I going to do again? We started praying. The headache, before I know it, I find myself in the hospital again. They inject me. They said, okay, they will give me an injection. That injection, after five, ten minutes, then I can go home. I mustn't go home immediately because the the injection they are giving me is too heavy for my body. I said, okay. Then after 10 minutes, I went home. The second day, the same thing repeated again. I'm like, ah. we went to hospital again. Then we started pray, pray, pray again. I go to hospital. They gave me the same injection. But then we, I called my wife. You know what? This thing is getting too much. I don't know what to do again. But let's continue praying. Then from there, did no more sleep on my eye for good three days. I'm opening my eyes from morning to night for good three days. My brother, after being on prayer line and the prophet prayed for you, and you went back, you had a severe attack, you have a headache, severe headache, and you couldn't sleep for three days. Having been on prayer line, and you were not healed. What went through your mind during those times? Yes, I went to prayer line. For that first time, I went to prayer line. True, truly. I was like, everything was fine. Like, I was sleeping like a newborn baby. I called my wife and said, there he is. This prayer line, I go, my, my body is back. But after some certain time, like two, three days, the attack come again. When make me like, I, I stopped sleeping, you know, the, even, even by hearing some voices. Did it affect your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? No, it didn't affect my faith. Can you clap for Master Jesus, children of God? <laughs> then you were on prayer line for the second time. What happened when you were on the prayer line for the second time? Yeah, when we, when we, when we, when we were on prayer line on second time. Before I leave home, there is one prayer I made. I just kneel down in my house. I say, God, please, as I'm going in your presence, I am going to be on prayer line. Amen. I cannot be able to withstand this in my own power because I have no power of my own. Amen. That God was so ever troubling my life, whether it's, whether it's evil or idle, Father, expose them, let them manifest. Then we enter car, we come to church and be on prayer line that day. When the choir busy singing, everybody is rejoicing, singing, everybody is rejoicing, singing. I was kneeling down crying there in prayer line. I was crying, praying the same prayer. The same prayer I did in my house, I'm praying it there. 
And thank God that today God see me through. Amen, amen and amen. amen. So let us watch. Let us watch our brother's encounter while on the prayer line. Let us just watch attentively and see how God restored him in totality. Who are you? Who are you? Stand! I said, stand! Stand! Stand on your feet right now! Who are you to him? Who are you to him? You are keeping him long. Why can't you give me a chance to finish my work? What is our work? This boy. Huh? This boy's heart is so. His, his heart is what? His heart is open. Uh huh. Why must you keep him? I'm keeping him. Why are you keeping him long? What do you want to do with him? Do you know what I do to him? What did you Last do to two him? weeks. What did you do to him? Jesus Christ, he's what still, do you know? He's still calling your number. He's praying for him. Why can't you leave him? Let him go with me. Who are you? I am in his father. You are his father. The father of this boy. I am his father. You are his father. Where are you? Where are you? I see everything in him. You see everything. He belongs to him. You, you see everything. Be he belongs, everything belongs to him. I seize it. How do you seize it? Where do you keep them? Do you know who is this boy? Who is he? Jesus Christ wants to know. Who is he? You seize everything that belongs to everything. him. Everything. Where do you keep them? I keep it them in my palace. Where is your palace? The great palace. Eh? Your hair. Where? E or here. That's where you keep them. That is where I keep it. Okay, where are you? Now, physically, where are you? I'm Spiritually, sitting where are on you? him. Oh, you are, in, you are sitting on him. He start want to blow. Okay. 20, 23. Okay. That's why I hit him what I hit him last two weeks. Oh, that's why you hit him two weeks ago. That's why I hit him that I brought pressure. Stroke. Okay. He's not talking well again. He loses his senses. Why do you do that? How can you do that? He's mine, but he broke. He backed me. Eh? He refused to come and give me what belongs to me. Okay, what is that that belongs to you? What do he you knows want? what I eat. What do you eat? And he knows what he's supposed to come and give me. Okay, what do you eat? What do you eat? He knows what he's supposed to give me. What do you eat? Because I see that he's what? the one who is the star there. Wait, what are the things you eat? I eat fresh blood. You eat fresh blood. What kind of I blood do you eat? eat? Flesh blood. So, what kind of blood? He's supposed to know, and he know. I show oh. him when he's young. You did what? I show him when he's young. Oh, when this boy was young. That's why when they come and stole my shrine in his father's house, I opened his eyes to see that I am not no more there. Why? Do you allow them to store me? Okay, where did, you steal, where did they steal you to? They steal you to where? I don't know. So he where knows. Are you now? I mean, his body. Oh, you are in, the, in this body? He doesn't sleep for two days. This boy never sleeps. Okay, why, what are you doing in his body? Let me complete okay, go my ahead. work. Go ahead. I want to finish him. Then are you going with me? Okay, you want to finish him. Then he's going with you. All his properties is just dumb, okay, just. Okay, okay, okay. So that is your plan? That is my plan. This is what my master sent me to come and who do. Who is your master? My master is the great master. Who, who is the great master? Master of the master. Who is your master? I want to know. I told you. Who is your master? Your hair is my master. They were a great oracle from their family. Okay. The river in the bush. Okay, so that is the, that's your master. That is Why master. did you follow this boy to this place? Look at the boy you are seeing. Look at the forehead. 
What is in Are you forehead? seeing that forehead? What is in that forehead? Are you seeing that star? What is I that? close it. Immediately oh, he burned. Eh? He come out with a gray star. Yeah. I become first of all to go and visit them and close that star. Oh, you went and closed it. We the cannot star. penetrate if we leave that star to grow a little bit. Okay. We need to close it when it's young. Oh, you closed you it know? when he was young? Yes. It's mine. Okay, but now that this boy is here, what, is, what, are, what do you think you're going to do? Why always, when he praying, he calling your name, calling Isaac, calling Jeremiah, you don't want him to call calling Isaac. Senior Private TB Joshua. You don't want him to call those people. Do you know what that name means? What, what's the name? What does he, doesn't, he don't need to call that name anyhow, but he's using it to torment me. Oh, he used those names to torment you. To torment me. I see. To torment me. Okay, okay. So you are in this body There is now. a big business coming to him. Mm -hmm. what, did, what have you done? He's on the way going to that business to come back to go and finish with people he's supposed to meet. Oh, you went and finished. I pull him down by stroke. Oh, you pull him down by stroke. Yes. Hi, wow. Which means you're I try to finish him with his children. Uh, All of them in the same car. I make him blind oh, on yeah. the highway. Okay. He's only screaming my head. That girl over there uh -huh. shouting. Which girl? Daddy. That girl over there standing there by the corner there. Which girl? Say, Daddy, please this use your no or me? you. Can you look at her? I'm not looking at her. She do not need to look at me. It doesn't belong in the same place. Okay. Okay, listen. She tell this girl tell her tell this man to use the what? He, there is oil on his car, he's always using on his car. Uh, then he used that oil. The hand started begin moving again. Oh, when he used the oil, moving the hand began again. to move. Moving again. So you seize the hand. I seize the hand because one side is dead. One side is dead. Even okay. the head. Say, now as I'm talking to you, because of that oil, the hand is restoring. The hand he is went to and tell him to use salt and bath. And he used the salt and bath also. For what? Who is she? What is in that oil and in that salt? You don't like them. What is that? I does not use it. That's why I told them, in the hospital, they told him to stop eating salt and oil. Okay, they told this boy to stop eating salt and oil. Who is him to carry the 241 high blood pressure to still be alive? Where we are not giving even anyone who is holding 200 P high blood pressure to be alive. Who is him to be alive? Okay, I, have, I, I want to ask you something. When who you kill, is him? When you kill, you kill this boy, what do you benefit? Yeah, I finish what I came to do in their family. Oh, when you kill this boy, you finish what you come to do in their family. Yes. Okay. So you are still. His sisters still... they love him too much, and his sister is prayer warrior. Okay. Yesterday, this foolish boy went to come pick up his phone and calling his sister. When he when she's with this one, this one busy reading Why the don't Bible. Why do you see this one? Why don't want to see this girl? He reading Bible for save who? The sister in the midnight from seven o'clock. This boy went to sleep. We couldn't give him the sleep. We make him to be talking where he's sleeping. Talking. Okay. When he's busy talking, mm -hmm. this one wake him. What are you saying? We ask him to kneel down, let's pray. The next thing, they gave him a God to pick up his phone to call his elder sister. As I said, busy crying and praying in midnight till five o'clock this morning. And I knew. The five o'clock is time to him to go here. Coming here, five o'clock, preparing to be coming here. I give him that sleep. You, you make him to sleep? Yes, to be late. To be late? I did that. Okay. I did that. What do and you I don't like the way you're using this boy. I want to ask you something. Can you please what? leave this boy for me? Then we can go. Okay, you want me to leave this boy for leave you? Leave him for me. I have leave good him news for, for you. I have good news for you. On Tuesday, that day I hit him. This boy is gone. Is he a prayer? Make them revive him back. Five o'clock 
on Tuesday, on Friday, yes. Oh, he was gone. He's already gone. Two o'clock on, on Friday. Friday he come back. When he's busy calling the wife, send the picture of her. Who is the, who is that name? Who gave him that name? Okay, listen. I have good news. Who refused? This boy refused. Right from home. He packed me. When they are talking about your hair, he's telling me that I don't know who is your hair, that you know this man. You know who? That man. What is, it? What is that man? Your man. Which who? The oh, great on your back. Uh, the one on my back? Yes. Okay. He don't mention his name. Call his name. Call who name? Do oh, you ever ever see a, a, a king call a name of a king? Oh, you're a king. Okay, walk I'm, like a king. I'm a king inside. Okay, walk, a, walk like I'm a king. A, we control king. Oh, the you The junior control ones, king. yes. Oh. We are the senior. Okay, you are the senior. We are the senior. Okay. Okay, listen. Why did we you are follow the senior this boy king. to this place today? Why did you follow him to this place today? Listen. Listen. I want you to take everything you put in this body and yourself. That is why he sees this boy now, for us. Listen. Listen. You have... Your time is over. Your time is over. I have a lot to do. You know what is the time? It's over. Thank you, Lord. Go. Go! Never come back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Die! Out! Oh. Out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your time is over. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus Christ. And never come back here. You uh, spirit <laughs> Vomit it out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now go. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. And never you return to this body. Now and forevermore. Hello? Eh? You need water? What's wrong with you? I'm dry. Eh? Daddy, I'm dry. <laughs> what is he saying? He's He's lied. He tried, he need water. Get me one drink and leave. Come here. Say you're dry. Okay, open your mouth. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Do you people see something? This is the one that is at work. This is the, this is the one that is at work. You see that? <laughs> you see? Stand it! Stand up! Because your power over this boy is over. Stand up. You want to fight? Okay, stand up. Stand up. You have power. Stand up. Don't let me count three. Don't let me count three. One. Two. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You have no choice. The whole floor. Fire the whole floor. Stand up right now. Stand up. Stand up. Stand right. Stand right. The remaining in you should come out now. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> now vomit it. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! You know where you are? You know where you are? Finish.
Where's the power? Look for it. Look for it. You know where you are? You know where you are? You make the greatest mistake by touching this boy. Now move. Move! Leave this boy, please. I say move. Move out. Move out. Now. Give me the water. Give me the water. This is soul for the father. Huh? This is soul for his father. His soul for his father. His soul for the father. We seize these documents. Now, finish. Now, check your power. Everything you seize from this boy is restored. We seize we seize it all, all his papers. All his papers. To his father to not see him. Huh? To okay. his father to not see him. For the father not to see him. Only every year the father is crying. Listen. My son, come back home. Listen. Listen. Only once he travel. He Listen. travel big. We see what that boy will do be. Listen. We told you. Listen. Listen. We told you. We know this Listen. boy. Listen. We know this boy. Listen. Listen. We know I have good boy. news. Now go. I have too many work to do. Go. Fire! Thank you, Lord. Take. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. I'm not fighting. Keep your sword. I'm not fighting. Now go. Now go. Go. Keep your sword. Go. Let me take my thing. I remove all your things. Let me take my All your things. Go. You idol from the village. But why I don't want to leave this boy you, from you, me? What is the name again? Isso? You're here. Your name is Yohia. Okay, go. Hey! Ow! Thank you, Lord. Come here. Come here. Give me a hand. Touch his stomach. Touch his stomach. Finish. Leave him. It's okay. It's okay. You have done your job. Finish. Now go. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, never you return. You idol. Go! In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Can I hear everyone say Amen? amen. Children of God, if you're excited about this great deliverance, can you make it beautiful? <laughs> Clap for the master of deliverer, the deliverer. Amen and amen. So um, during the, your encounter with the servant of God on the prayer line, we discovered that there is an idol that is responsible for all you've been going through. Did you know, have you been able to know that the source of your problem is as a result of that idol? Did you know about that? The truth, I know there is idol in my family, but his man of God let me to know because I didn't know before that the idol, the, my problem is from there. The things I was facing in my life since I grown up, the problem I'm facing, my business, it goes up today, tomorrow, it goes down. His man of God let me to know that is an idol problem in the Adrian family. Normally, what are the things that your community or your village, what do they normally do for the idol and at what time? Do they do that? Maybe if they do sacrifice, what particular time of the year or festival do they do those uh, sacrifice? Okay, before I come to that, did they even prophet told me about this idol? I was surprised because prophet don't know really know the real village I'm coming from. And I'm not, I never told prophet anything concerning idol in my family. 
the day he told me, I went on one side, I'm busy thinking about that. Then coming for the, what they asked me right now, the idol is when we normally do New Year Festival. So whatever they brought like goat or fowl, they have to go and pour the blood on that idol before anybody eats it. Secondly, the idol's name is Iyohia. Yes. Iyi means uh, river. Yes. Then Ohia means bush. Yes. What is the, can you describe to us the location of this idol in your, in your family? You know, is it a river or just an effigy or an image? You know, when, when we've been told, because I made that, when they bought me, I find that there, all my family will find that there, is, is image like a, a human being. But, they, but when they told us, when they are telling us, they said that he come like a, a woman asking a place to stay, just a, like a human being. So the old in these people, our forefathers, locate him where he can be able to stay. In the morning, everybody wake up, it happens that is a very big river is there. So what are other effects outside the attacks and business setbacks you've been having? What are the other attacks your family members have been having as a result of this idol in Truth, the family? Truly, nothing is going well in my family. Particularly me, my business will boom, boom in. In, before I know it, everything will go to square one. I will start it from one, from level again, from crash again. So other family members are equally being attacked as a result of this idol? My, like, my brothers, their things is not going where well the way he's supposed to go. And I believe that as I'm delivered, all my family is delivered. Amen and amen. Can we amen. put our hands together for Master Jesus? My brother, there are people who have watched your clip on the video and they are still doubting about the existence of this idol. Can you tell us where in Nigeria is this idol located? In Nigeria, I'm from Anambra State. In Anambra State, I'm from my, my town village is Abatete, the so local the, government. So the idol was formerly in Abatete before the, it was yes. stolen? Yes. Yes. What are the other efforts the community have made in order to make sure that this idol have to cease uh, disturbing their children, to cease disrupting their businesses and their progress? Has there been any plan or has there been any thing the community gathered together to do to stop the evil activities of this idol? The, truthfully, I was like, you know, I was now staying home. If there is anything they're planning for that, I'm not staying home. I'm staying in, in, with my dad in, in township. So people normally go there is people like always being home to go and see the idol. I never go to the, like follow them to go and see the idol. Amen and amen. amen. Let us just quickly hear from your wife. Good morning, church. My name is Linda Saule. I'm from the Eastern Cape, but reside in Johannesburg. My sister, you have heard the deliverance and the encounter and all the ups and downs the idol have caused to your family. What are the experiences you had during this period your husband was going through all this? In the dream, in the physical, have you been attacked by the same idol? What is happening in your own life as a wife to Mr. Ikene. I have never experienced it in my own life. But on the, I don't know, my things also are not going the way they're supposed to, do, to go. It was not an easy time for us because we have to run up and down, going to hospital around two o'clock in the morning, coming back again. But on the last day, I said no. We are not going to hospital again. Amen. 
You have to be on the prayer line today, no more hospital. And you manage to be in the prayer line. And that's when he gets his deliverance. And the rest is history. Amen and amen. <laughs> Finally, sister, we had all the materials you gave our brother to use. What, are, what is the source of your encouragement to say, my husband used Rafa anointing oil, my husband used salt, my husband used the calendar? What gave you the, the, the courage? What gave you the ideas to ask your husband to use this all materials. the testimonies that we normally see here that came to my mind let me try and use these things also because I didn't know what else to do that was my only hope and you believe that it will work for you since it worked for others yes and it works can you clap for master yes. Jesus this is the calendar that he's using up until today I put it under his pillow when he's sleeping. And this is the anointing soft. I spread it on top of the bed. He's also using it to bath. And this is the anointing oil. He's using it to rub when after bathing. And I always make sure if he's sleeping, I go and anoint him in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I pray for healing upon your life. Let your life be restored. And it did. I also use the handkerchief. I will put it on top of his head when he's sleeping. This is the handkerchief. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> My sister, now that your husband has been delivered and your family is restored, there are millions of people out there who have been going through torments by either idol or every other evil spirit in the family. What is your word of advice for those people in that category, now that you have seen the power of God? My advice is have faith in God. There's no one else like him. Indeed. We need to have faith in God. We need to have faith in God as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the healer, is the restorer, is the deliverer. We look unto him and we thank you so much for your wonderful word of advice. Children of God, can we once again clap for Master Jesus? My brother, the congregation here is present, the saints here seated listening to you. We are so elated. We are so happy for how God has restored you, for how God has healed you, for how God has saved you from the hands of idol in your family. How happy are you that servant of God did not know you are a village, he has not been there, but God revealed to redeem and God used him to restore your family. How happy are you today testifying before the saints here present? You know, I am more than happy because if our daddy did not avail himself, make himself available to God to use, I'm sure that I will not be here to stand in your presence. Maybe they have already buried me. They have already forget the, even the grave where they bury me. So I am thanking God and thanking Mother of God. And I'm praying that God will use him more and more. Not only in my family and everyone here and across the globe. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. <laughs> Brother, at a point you said your hand and your leg is not, work, uh, is not functioning very well. Can you walk around, let the saints and viewers see that you are walking majestically? Can you clap for Master Jesus? So your hand is working. Children of God, you can see that his hand, his legs, they are all very, very much active. It's just like a, boy, a newborn baby. 
just like a Swiss 16. Amen. That is what he is now. God has restored him back to original. My brother, you we are on prayer line and prophet pray for you. Since after this deliverance, have you been having that severe headache, your BP and every other thing? How is life going on right now after your deliverance? Since uh, after my deliverance, my, my brothers, the truth is this. Let me tell the truth. Here in Shekana Gross Ministry, in presence of God, Amen. there is no wayo. There is no RNG. Since then, I'm sleeping like a newborn baby. Before my children are going to go to school tomorrow, go to bed. I've already gone to bed before them. I've already gone to bed before them. So my life is honey, more than sweet. Amen and amen. Our brother is countering what people are saying that this is a drama, this is a movango, it's a movie, it's a Nigerian movie, and it's a South African movie, it's just what the church arranged. But to the glory of God today, he's testifying to shame the devil that this is not any arrangement, but rather an idol that the forefathers imported in the family. And when you go to Nigeria, in most, especially in the eastern part of Nigeria, and the western part of Nigeria is a common thing that our forefathers normally import idols in the family. So his own case is not as if it's something that the church arranged. So viewers all over the world and doubt, people who doubt the power of God in this house, it's high time you change your ways and believe that God is here and God is watching you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My brother, finally... What is a word of advice for those who are still doubting and those who are being tormented by evil spirits or idols their forefathers imported in the house? My advice is this. Those who are facing what I was facing before, because now I'm a new creature. Please, I am begging everybody that. Look for Christ. Look for the living church. Amen. Run to God. Amen. That is only where you will be. You will be free and will be delivered. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus once again. <clears throat> Children of God, I hope we learned a lot from this great testimony and what God did for us in Shekana Glorious Faith Ministry. My brother, we thank you so much for this wonderful testimony, this deliverance. And we pray with you that God of now, the God of Shekana Glory Faith Ministry, the God of Prophet Isaka, will make this healing, restoration, deliverance permanent in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Always come close to him. He is the healer, he is the restorer. Prophet Isaka is only a tool, is only a, 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 an avenue, is only a, a machinery of God, that God is using to do his work. Look unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are healing, you are delivering, you are restoration. All you have lost by the activities of this idol will be restored 100% in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Once again, let's clap for Master Jesus. Children of God, you are not excited. Can you show your excitement? Once again, children of God, I greet you once again. Good morning. Tell your neighbor God is here. You are in the presence of God. God is here. And God is watching.